go ahead, go ahead. Because you know I'm going to go in on the next one. You got high tier bars, like the lyrics he chose to use are just really high tier. And uh, that video game chunk, woo, did you hear that part when he was naming games and shit? That was nice. Yes. Appreciate that. Uh-huh, yeah, a little nerve wrap. Point, point for the gamers, ISO's a gamer. Maybe we'll <laughs> run into him on Siege one day. <laughs> Celebrity guest. And, uh, the, the real and, uh, ISO. <laughs> And there's a there's an MRE reference. I just was like, oh, I, I hear MREs now. I just think of Bruce. So that's all I got for that song. <laughs> just high tier. MREs bars, ain't though. that bad. But, well, <laughs> if you have to eat an MRE, you're in a bad situation. But MREs themselves aren't. That's what it's what it means when you're eating an MRE. <laughs> you're in the shit. I got one more so, lyric. It goes. I get the feeling that if I die, it'll literally stop time. Man. Oh, okay, yeah. Are right, you ready for this? All right. Last one. Oh, yeah. Are you going to oh, the skit? Yeah. Thank uh, you. Not... Fuck the thank you skit real quick. Mm. We got to talk about, to me, the best song on the track. This yeah. is Aaron Has His Manic, <laughs> I Have Folded Flags. So, Folded Flags, it's one of those songs, like, every time I, I listen to it, I choke up a little bit, and I have... And I gotta get control of my fucking self so I don't cry. Because as the song goes on, it starts off with the shots being fired and everything. The main chorus is so many fighting for this country, but when they die, all they send home is a folded flag. You know, this, this song would have sent me if he just outright named Military Industrial Complex Whoa. and fucking Patriot Act and the, and the government just sending people to die. What this song brings to light to me is that yes, to me and to most people, I would say, veterans and service members are people. But to people in the government, they are numbers and they are property. And sure, when you die, yes, your family gets like $400,000 of life insurance, you know, cool, whatever. Ask anybody who's had their significant other, their mom, their dad die in the service. Fuck the 400k. We'll rather have the person. You know, you see it in the fucking movies all the fucking time. Whenever a service member dies, yes, they send they send them the folded flag and they have some dude in like they dress uniform and they read them this fucking copy paste paper. If you don't believe that's copy paste, just look at fucking. Saving Private Ryan. There's literally a bunch of people writing the fucking letters, and they're all the same. And the mom gets four fucking letters, and they all read the same shit, just with different <laughs> names. Cut into it. So that, so if that don't tell you that the government really don't care, you know, about about it, then I don't know what to tell you. Cause it's just so powerful. Because I've had my my step granddad. He died, and yes, uh, he. Not in the service, he was retired, he served like his full 20, 20 years, and all they got was a flag, and Damn. whenever I was at his funeral, you know, like they did like the whole 21 gun salute and everything, whenever I was at his funeral, it gave me that sense of, all this military shit wasn't worth it. Like, if that man, the casket, was able to get up and talk right now, he would say, fuck all this, like, fuck 21 Gun Salute, fuck the flag, he's like, I, all I care about is my family. So that's just the kind of dude he was. The veterans will tell you, like, the weight of the flag is different from when you serve, which is true, you know, even though we don't fight for the right things, what you, what you sacrifice to what you want to fight for the right things and for, like, the defense of freedom and all this and that, it is a heavy burden. But, when you die, the government doesn't care. They're like, hey, here's a here's a fly that we fucking copy paste and fold into a fucking triangle for you. And the lines that really hit with me different were people in the hood be carrying military issues, people in the hood, you know, <laughs> always having guns and everything. Like, yes, that's like the face value. But underneath that is like most people that join the military are from low income houses, you know, people in the hood. They got the military issues. Why do you want to join the military? Because I couldn't do X, Y, Z because the situation I was in. I want to get out of a bad situation. I needed money to go to college because I want to make an aerospace for myself. Military issues. And then he says, PTSD. We got military issues. Mm-hmm. Damn it. It's a good one. <laughs> it, it's a great one. And it's like, yeah, it's a big issue, especially when they got PTSD for fighting in the fucking graveyard of empires. And like, it, <laughs> like that sucks. Uh, I had 
my dad, my stepdad, who uh, who, who also served, that dude, one time he cried while getting drunk. It's part of the reason why he's not allowed to drink anymore, according Whoa. to my mom. Uh, because he he had to he, he was talking about like killing kids in Iraq and shit like it just weighed heavy on him. Jesus. Yeah, it is a Jesus Christ. So I was like, shit's fucked. <laughs> That's why the song makes you choke up. And the other best bar from this song was Karen. This is the, where Dog Tags come in, where he's like, DMX, where my dogs at, and, and the song's on Dog Tags, but in folded flags, he's like. I'm carrying so many dog tags, people say I got a cemetery with me. And that mm. goes back where I said when you have the dog tags, you have essentially their body. You carry the weight of all of them. I think the reason why it makes me choke up is because whenever he's going through the song, I get the visual of a soldier who's like the last of his company and he made it his mission to personally deliver all the flags, you know, to to the families. And he's as he's doing, he realizes, like, none of this shit really mattered. Hell, there was a an interview a while ago where they it was, they had, like, a, a soldier who fought in, like, World War II and a soldier who's fighting buck fuck uh, uh, Sandy Land. And the guy who, was in, who, was, who fought in World War II was like, oh, yeah, you know, when the war was oh, over, yeah. I, I, still, I still hated the Germans. You know, I still hated them with a passion. Like, nice. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 he couldn't get over it. Like, he just hated him that much. But the yeah. dude uh, who fought in Sandyland, he so was like, fuck. I don't hate my enemies. He's like, I don't care about them. He's like, I got out because they were defending what little they had left in their country. <laughs> and we were just taking it. He was like, I couldn't handle that anymore. So he was like, I don't hate my enemies. If anything, I got respect for the dudes who would go to such lengths to blow themselves up just to say, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, Voted Flags, my favorite song, makes me choke up. Fucking great message.